Have you ever wondered how to back up your emails in Outlook for Mac? Or maybe you need to move your messages from one computer to another one, or even from Windows to Mac. Let me tell you, Outlooks make it pretty simple. You can export your email data to an OLM file, which is Outlook's backup format for Mac. In this video, I will show you how to back up your emails, calendars and contacts, and how to import them back when you need it to, step by step. My name is Carlos, and I help small businesses around the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. All right, let's jump right into Outlook for Mac. In our Mac, we're going to open Outlook. We'll go to Finder, Applications, and here we have Outlook. If you are currently using the new Outlook, you probably will find this. You click on File, and then you will see that Import and Export are grayed out. In this case, you will need to switch to the classic Outlook or the old Outlook. To switch to the old Outlook or classic Outlook, we need to click on Help, and then Revert to Legacy Outlook. Then we click on Revert. Now we are within the classic Outlook. We will go to the top menu, click on File, and then we will find Import and Export. Since I want to create a backup of my emails, I'm going to click Export. Then here, I can select what data I want to export. Mails, calendar, contacts, tasks, and notes. If I want to export everything, I will leave it like that, and I click on Continue. As I can see here, the type of files that will be created is a Now Look for Mark archive, or in other words, a OLM file. Here I can select where I want to save this file. For easy access, I'm going to save it in my desktop. And then I click on Save. Since this test account only have a few emails, the process was very fast. So the file has been created. And then I click on Finish. If I go to my desktop, I will find the file. And I find it here, Outlook for Mac Archive. And the extension of the file is OLM. Now I'm going to show you how to restore the file. And I'm going to restore it in a different Outlook profile. If you want to learn how to create or switch to a different Outlook profile, I'm leaving a link here for a video where I explain how to do that. So we we'll close Outlook. and I'm going to switch the Outlook profile. On the Outlook icon, I do right-click and click on Show Package Content. Open the folder, Content, and open this folder, Share Support folder, and here I double-click on Outlook Profile Manager. And then I'm going to open this profile. I'm going to set it as default. The next time I open Outlook, this new profile will open. Then I double-click on Outlook to open Outlook. Now we'll go to the top menu, click on File, and then in this case I'm going to click on Import. Since my backup is a Mac Archive file, I mean a OLM file, I'm going to select it, and then I click on Continue. Now here, on my desktop, I will find the file or backup that we created before. I select it, and then I click on Import. Outlook has now import the files from the backup. Then I click on Finish. Once the import process has been completed, the question is, where could I find my emails that I imported? On the left, you will scroll down, and you will find on my computer. You click on it, scroll down, and you will find Outlook for Mac Archive. You click on it, 
and here you have the email account that you imported. You open the folder, scroll down a little bit, and you will have here, for example, my inbox, my delete items, draft, and send items. These are the emails that were back up and then imported into this new Outlook profile. If you need, you can now drag and move your messages and folders to your regular account. For example, I can select a message and I can move any message or folder within the account that you already configured in Outlook. For example, you can move this message to any folder. This completes the process of export and import your email data from Outlook. And that's it. You have now seen how to export your Outlook data into an OLM file and how to import it back, whether it is an OLM or a PST file. Backing up your Outlook data is one of those things that can save you a lot of stress later on, especially before reinstalling your Mac or migrating to a new computer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and if you have any comments or questions, leave it here down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. And remember, stay secure in the cloud, keep tech savvy, and stay ahead with AI.